Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's been a while, I know. Um, I meant to do one a long time ago and post it, but I never did because by the time I was going to post it, all the information I had about it and in it was invalid. So that never happened. Yeah. Basically, what it was was saying that I had a job interview, which I didn't get because I guess I wasn't qualified enough, I wasn't in the right area. The research I was going to do, or I am going to do, doesn't really deal with her field as well, or what she wanted me to be doing as a graduate assistant. So, it just didn't work out quite as well as I thought it would. Not too big. Um, it would have been really awesome. It was a three-year grant, supposedly. But oh well. Anyways, um, so lots happened since then. I've switched my schedule to London time because of the Olympics. And that's worked out horrifically, you know, pretty much. Uh, I don't know what day is night and night is day anymore. People ask me what time it is and I tell them London time. And they go, but you live in Texas. And I go, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, my computer says I don't. So we're going by this time. So I have a really jacked up schedule now. So it's okay. Um, oh well, right? It's summertime. Not for long. I need to read. I need to get back on that. I haven't been. Mostly because my teachers have been sucking and not giving me the books after constant emails to them. So, yeah. I just really would like to know what books I need so I can buy them. That's it. I mean, how... How ridiculous is that? I can't buy my books because my professor that I'm going to have, one, won't respond to me. Two, may not be seeing the message because it's summer. Don't blame him that much. I still do. Um... And when I try to get in contact with somebody to see maybe if I could get the ISBNs, they were pretty, not mean to me, they weren't mean to me, it was a polite mean, you know, like, sorry, I don't have the time for you right now, please refer to this person to someone else because I don't want to deal with you sort of thing. And that's what it was. Uh, so yeah. But you're, if you're in charge of something, like, if you're in charge of student progress, or the listing or schedules, you know, the scheduling for classes, and, like, what classes are and what classes need, you might want to know about the classes, just saying, and the students that are taking the classes. You might want to care about them just a little bit, especially if you want them to progress as far as student progression goes. Just saying, you know, hey, uh, I may be weird. I am weird. That's not why. Um, so, yeah, so you should probably help out your students. Just saying, people. I'm not going to say where. I won't say where, because I'm going to be nice. But uh, you should probably help people out a little bit more. But on the upside of that, this morning in an email, well, morning Texas time, I guess. I don't know when it was. It was some day today, sometime today. I got an email from... Okay, so I had a call. Um, so where was I? So basically, yeah, I got a job offer from my campus. Pretty nice, I thought. Let me scoot on up here. Pretty nice, I thought. Uh, it's for a graduate assistantship. They didn't really tell me what it was doing, or what times I'll be doing, or anything like that at all. They told me nothing. Go, hey, we have a job. Do you want it, basically? That's all I got, so I'm going to say yes. It's not bad. It's pretty money, I thought, considering, I mean, yeah, considering, it's gonna be 10 hours a day, 10, no, no, 10 hours a week, it's not too bad, it's what I had before, it was pretty legit, it was cool, I got to do homework, but, um, so yeah, so that's gone down, I've been watching lots of Olympics, obviously, as you know, since I've changed my schedule over, um, my favorite ones are handball, table tennis, and I would have to say football for American people, soccer. By the way, I'm American, call it football. Why? Because that's what the rest of the world calls it, and we should too, because we're no different than them. We're not special. Um, so for any future reference, if I'm talking about American football, I'll call it North American football, because it's basically a North American football thing. It's a United States football thing. It's a U.S. weird thing. Because um, I don't know if Canada calls it that or not either. They may call football, like American football, American football. So maybe it's just American football. But calling it an American football, I mean, 
Americas is a lot of things. Like Central America, South America, North America. It can be lots of things. So I think calling it a U.S. football is more appropriate, probably. So yeah, we're going to call it that from now on. Let's start that trend. U.S. football. And let's just not even call it that. Let's call it hand, hand egg ball. Hand egg ball. That seems appropriate as well, too. So, um, pick one of those two. Whichever one. I don't care. Uh, whichever one suits your fancy. I uh, got a haircut lately. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, looks decent, I think. I like it. It's fancy. It's weird. And it's me. That's all. I'm, I like to be different. Not because I want to be different, but because I think that not being normal is fun. Being normal gets boring. And boring is sucky. And who wants to be sucky? Not me. Nope. So yeah, uh, what else? Still playing Minecraft, still moderating it. Love it. It's a fun thing. It's, it's really nice because I like helping out the community. The community is really what it's all about and why I'm doing it. And seeing them happy and talking to them, they become like an extended family. So, yeah, it's really cool. I like them. And so, yeah, uh, what else? Oh, uh, 1.3 is updating for Minecraft. Not that you care. Uh, you may not even know what Minecraft is, but if you don't, you can live under a little bit of a rock where you're old. Um, I can't even, I think my parents even know about it only because I've told them. So, they have no excuses. So, basically, 1.3 broke Minecraft. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. 1.3 kind of sucks. It's got good things for it, going for it, but right now, it sucks. Uh, servers are buggy, bucket build is behind because they switched everything up the last second, so yeah. Um, what else? Um, yeah, I don't know, I mean, really, I've just been watching a lot of Olympics, how'd I get off that topic? Anyways, let's go back to Olympics. Back to Olympics. Dun, 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 dun. Olympic time. With me. Okay. So, in the Olympics, there's the football. Uh, yeah, cat, caught you. Football, table tennis, and handball. What do all three of those things have in common? I'll tell you. Things that America doesn't really give two shits about. Um, that's it. Table tennis, not big in America. S -s Football, soccer. Um, not that it's it's okay in America, not as big as in other countries. Like it's political things in other countries. Like if your country wins, it's political almost. Um, so it's not that big here. It's growing a little bit because America's getting smarter. Maybe I don't know. And table tennis, no one cares at all about. Handball, people don't even know what that is. That's just like a joke to them. I like handball a lot. Okay. So, I want y'all to start looking at new sports. Um, new sports are fun. They give you a new outlook on the way people do things. It's cool. So, in that mindset, I got asked the other question. I got asked a question the other day. If you could have any sport in the Olympics, like if you could put any one sport in the Olympics, what sport would you put in there? And I really had no answer to that. I really was just like, I don't know. I think I could think of some that would be taken out. I could easily think of some that would be taken out. Like, I don't understand why equestrian sports are there. Or sailing is there. Like, some of these things just exude old white people, rich people, old, right, old white rich people sports. Which is not what the world is about. I mean, it's what it was conquered by. But it's not what it's about. So I think some of these things are just kind of sketchy to have. Like, really? Who cares that much about sailing? I don't know some people do, and I don't discredit that. Go ahead. If you like it, that's amazing for you. I think it's boring. And I don't get it. Um, so, I finally figured out what sport I would put in there. And it's called Sepactacraw. And I probably just abused it for the name. I mean, I'm sure I got the name wrong. Sapok to craw. Sapok to craw? Sapok to craw. Sapok to craw. To craw sapok. I think it's Sapok to craw. But I'm horribly abusing a Texas accent on it. So, roll with it. It's S-E-P-A-K-T-A-K-R-A-W. And it is amazing. Why? Because it's like volleyball and kickball in one. And there's three men teams. And it's, as my father calls it, 
Kung Fu Ball, and it is rockin'. Um, yeah, you should look it up. Like, I'll, I'll try to link you to something fancy right there about it. So, yeah, um, so back to crawl. is a, I think it's a Malaysian kickball. I think it's Malaysian. Or Taiwanese kickball. One of the two. I think it's Malaysian, though. Uh, I'm sorry if I get it wrong. But it's three men on his team. And it's small court, basically. And it's a rattan ball. And they kick that shit over the net. And there's a net in the middle, like volleyball. And they kick the shit over the net. They kick it. Do they use hands? No. No hands involved. The only hands they use is to throw the ball at the kicker to kick it over at the initial phase. After that, no hands. Um, that's it. You can use the rest of your body. No hands. Do people use the rest of the body? Probably not smart to use your face when someone kicked a ball at it. That's normally not a good thing to do, so not many people do that. Um, people are doing bicycle, like legit bicycle kicks all the way across in a 360. It's like a 360 circle they're doing when they kick these things. It's amazing. Um, I wish I could do that. Can I? Nope. Um, will I ever be able to? Probably not unless I wreck. And then I'll just go flying and spinning. Or something random happens, like, I don't know, I fall off a ladder, maybe? That might do it. That'd probably be the loops, depending how high. Two and a half links to the human body size is not safe. That could cause fatal injuries, by the way. In fact, um, what else? Um, I'm in Texas, as you well know, and I have allergies, sorry. I forgot to take my pill. Girl. And in Texas, it is hot. And I've been kind of escaping the heat by staying inside and being a hermit. But I have to go outside today because I'm going to my college for orientation. And to accept the job offer. Mostly the orientation, though. That comes first because that's most first on the schedule. So it's hot. Hot, 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 I don't mention it's hot. But yeah, so, a little bit hot. But uh, it's it's not too bad, I guess, considering I haven't been out there and did too much. I mean, I'm dealing with it. I got my water bottle, and um, I'm running from shadow to shadow, and from shade to shade. Like, if there's a person bigger than me with a shadow, I'll hide behind you. And I'm not going to be shy about it. I'm going to be like, hey, you've got shade. I'm stealing it. Survival of the finish, you know? I mean, that's like how those little... Um, things survived, I'm sure, yeah, uh, through the shadows of bigger things, and on the shoulders of giants, mine's through the shadows of giants, because I'm in Texas, so, yeah, yeah, pretty much it on that one, it's gonna be a long episode, wow, um, what else to talk about, I really, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I'm out, not out, I got stuff. I can think of something. What else is going down? Let's see here. Oh. Yeah, I got nothing. Sorry. At a loss. Oh, um, oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Um, had tamales. Amazing. No, you didn't really care about that. I'm an exit only. Um, yes, I'm driving while doing this, but that's okay. Why? Because I'm on the highway. That's a toll road, and nobody's on it, and I'm being careful. I promise you this. Why? Because I travel this route, have a sleep most of the time, so I can do it pretty much awake. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. What else? Um, I don't know. I don't know. The heat's getting to me, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, I said y'all. Ooh, that was bad. Um, so... Mostly the message that we So, what else? Oh, he got himself somebody. Uh. Man, I don't know. Like, I was supposed to do a facial thing from Lean Soul. Uh, uh, I hope we don't watch these anymore because I'm probably just going to barely be getting it for the third time. Um, so yeah. Um, third time, I'm just going to rename probably. Never did your video for the facial scrub thing. I'm sorry, I'll get on that one of these days. That's all I can offer you right now, buddy. And I'm sorry. Because I've just been lazy and watching the Olympics, and that takes precedence. And I'm missing football games. I almost said soccer because I'm trying to save it all. 
I miss in football games because of it. So, they... I don't want to miss football games. I miss in women's handball. I really like... Okay, I like women's handball. I like women's soccer. And no, not for the ha-ha-ha-ha booby thingies. No, that's not me. That's really not. I really like it because I find it that they're more competitive about it because they need to be, I guess, to try and show themselves off that they're good and, you know, like, that they're, they're, once they're amazing, like, I could never do the stuff that they do. So I think that, and I may be just kind of gender typing them a little bit with that statement, but it seems like they're just more motivated than the men. Like, I watched the men's version of it, and it's, it's good, but it's not as interesting as the women's sport because I don't think they are as into it maybe and I'm sure they're into it don't get me wrong but women well, just is better about it like they're just cooler to watch I'm like well there's they're just cooler to watch that's it in a story same reason to watch American uh, well uh, women's handball women's football uh, but I do like men's table tennis men's table tennis is where it's at I'm sorry um amazing China took gold and silver. It's like the bomb. They're amazing people. Uh, Germany took third. Some bronze. Um, football is going pretty good. Mexico's doing well. They're doing well. They did good. USA's doing pretty well. They scored two in the last game. That was this morning. Ooh. Uh, handball. I don't really know who's rooting for handball yet. I just... I like them all. They're all pretty decent. Angola's making a good show of it. Uh, who else is? I think Russia? But their coach in Russia, oh my god, he looks so scary. And he sounds like he's angry all the time. Or is it Germany? How do you know? Huh. Interesting. Anyways, um, what else? I shaved, as you can tell. Uh, yeah. I've been dealing a lot with swag lately. Like, I've had this this issue of just an overabundance of swag. And so I've been, uh... Yeah, I've been talking to people about my issues. And they seem to like swag, so... I think I'm rubbing off on them. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, what else? That's it, so goodbye! <laughs>